Hello and welcome back. So today we will be unboxing the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless and we will be comparing it to the Bowers & Wilkins PI7. So let's get on with it. Hopefully this unboxing will be easier than the PI7. Going smoother. Okay. So you can see that the box is much bigger than the PI7s. Okay, and I do love the case. It has sort of a coating to it, so it's very difficult to get it scratched or damaged. And these are the Sennheiser buds. Very nice and discreet. And you get the rest of stuff in here. You got the cables, the manual, and replacement earbuds somewhere down here. Okay, so We'll move on to the most important bit, which is the sound quality, and we're going to compare between these two, and we'll hopefully pick up a winner today. Okay, so let's get on with listening to some music. So this one has a seven millimeter driver. Um, the, these ones have two drivers, and they both have a PTX connectivity. This one is adapt. This one doesn't have the adapt feature, so. Uh, we'll see which one has better sound overall and we'll get back to you. All right, welcome back. So we're comparing these two for the final time. Got the Sennheiser and the PI7. You can see the case, Sennheisers are much thicker, much more oval shaped. And these one are a bit smaller. Now, I'm sure you know, the battery life on these is seven hours. This one is about four hours with the ANC on. That's not our story. Our story is all about the sound, the sound quality. So we've done a um, an in-depth check of these two with different hi-fi, high quality, high fidelity songs. And I have to say it's very close. Both of these are excellent. The sound stage on the PI7, I would say is a bit bigger. Uh, you can feel like there's bigger and wider sound stage. But the problem is it's really bass heavy. It takes over the mids um, and the treble is quite high as well. Um, so it's not for my liking personally. So I actually prefer the Sennheisers and it's much more sort of clear in the mid range. The um, sound is just better for me overall. So I, I still want to say I, I, I will go for these ones. Um, but it's very, very, very close. Uh, it was a difficult decision. I think the issue with the PI7s is not having a an equalizer or an app that is, you know, um, gives you a bit more control. There's not much they can do. You can't really adjust the um, sort of the touch buttons on these. You cannot do any adjustments on them whatsoever. On these, you can adjust and do whatever you want. You can tweak them to your liking. Um, so. Yeah, there's just more options in these ones and the sound is just, for me, is just a little bit better than the PI7s. Um, obviously you have, here you have the advantage of being able to connect an AUX like on flight or wherever you don't have the option for Bluetooth. So that's a really, really good feature, but you know, as in life you can't get anything, you can't get everything. Um, that you want. Okay, so we'll have a look here at the smart control app. So it's a much more polished app. Um, let's have a look here at what options we get. So we get the transparent hearing, you got the equalizer, which is very impressive. You can tweak it for your own liking, it's very good. Okay. And you get the battery percentage. So it's it's quite useful and handy app. Okay. Now for the PI7, you don't get much out of it really. It's um, quite useless. 
let's have a look. So all you get is the noise cancellation, battery percentage of each of the earbuds and the um, case. Um, and that's about it really. Not much else. There's no equalizer functions in there. Okay, now let's talk about the fit in your ear. So we're talk about the fit now. So for the PI7s. So um, they, I think they stick out a bit more than the Sennheisers. They don't feel like they are secured in there. Um, for me, the Sennheisers is just a much better fit. And I personally have been running with it. My old pair, I've been running with it. I've been in a marathon with it. Use it in the gym. It's very, very secure. It, doesn't come off easily and uh, yeah I mean I've lost a pair of these and I got a new one uh, luckily I had them covered through my uh, Barclays uh, insurance so luckily I didn't lose the 260 pounds so um, yeah I mean I like them so much that I'm getting a new pair so I think that says a lot uh, but yeah that's it for the fit now for the um, the earbuds themselves they are bigger than the Sennheisers, they're more bulky, they um, they don't fit securely like the Sennheisers, in my ears anyway, um, and the app, the app is, is just doesn't, doesn't do much, uh, and these cost a whopping £350, so these are, are the most expensive true wireless earbuds you can buy. Okay, so a quick conclusion here, and final thoughts, so the Sennheisers, the pros and cons. Okay, the pros are these are much cheaper than the, the PI7s. Well, it's still expensive, but it's a hundred pounds cheaper than the PI7s. Um, the sound quality is still amazing. It's one year old now, these Sennheisers, but I think there are still the top earbuds out there. I've tried almost all of them, and these just sound amazing. They sound almost identical to the um, Sennheiser's over-ear ones so they are on par with the on-ear headphones even better than most of them actually so very very good sound quality for the price um, the battery life is much more than the PI7's so it's a 7 hours uh, in addition to the 20 I think it's 20 with the case something like that these are only 4 hours with the ANC on um, so overall longer battery life um, they fit these fit much better than the PI7 for my ears um, they feel more secure the ANC, ANC on both of these are not the best uh, I think the uh, Bose is still the best um, I think the uh, XM4s, the new XM4s comes in second um, and then these, these two are not, that's not their um, area of strength um, but yeah these are the pros of the Sennheiser the app as well the app is really really um, useful with the equalizer um, now the cons I think the case is a bit too big I like the case it's just you know it feels good it feels like it's scratch resistant um, so I do like the case is a bit too big now for these the case is very very handy because you can use an AUX uh, so that can come in very handy on flight uh, when we are allowed to fly again um, the case seems quite flimsy but I think that's how they designed it they want it to be like that so you know and I think that concludes our uh, video here so for me I would go for the cheaper Sennheisers and uh, yeah. So I think that concludes our review here and we'll probably be back with other reviews, general life reviews. Think about uh, what we're getting next and we'll uh, come back and review. Right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>